NVIDIA's new Game Ready Driver 581.57 is here, and its main job is to support DLSS 4 technology in upcoming games. This includes titles like Arc Raiders, PAX DEI, The Outer Worlds 2, and Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. That's the official goal. It does deliver some solid fixes, which is a welcome site. For example, those brutal device hung errors that 50 series card users were seeing in Madden 26 are now resolved and general game instability caused by the Steam overlay is reportedly fixed. The driver also takes care of graphics corruption in Total War, Warhammer 3, and visual glitches in Black Myth Wukong. However, this driver is far from perfect. And this is where you need to be critical before installing. Officially, the glaring issue of text distortion in Counter-Strike 2 at non-native resolutions remains unfixed. NVIDIA expects the fix for that to arrive late October or early November 2025 in the 585 driver branch. Even worse are the problems users are actively reporting right now. People are seeing significant color washout in games like Lost Ark despite clean installations. You also have persistent frustrating crashes in Star Wars Outlaws and Borderlands 4 often requiring a full driver reinstallation just to play. Finally, there are the long-standing hardware issues that simply won't go away. The 5090 GPU is still reportedly flickering randomly, and for those of you using custom settings, core clocks are still dropping on 5090 cards while you're in game, only to jump back up when you activate an overlay like MSI Afterburner. Plus, there are unacknowledged bugs like the inability to use the NVIDIA overlay for Monster Hunter Wilds and Battlefield 6 suffering a direct X crash when you Alt plus Tab out. So while this driver is technically required for DLSS 4 support in new games, you have to seriously ask yourself if the risk of facing these real world stability and visual bugs is worth the immediate upgrade. If you have anything else to add, please do so in the comments and also let us know if you personally tried this driver.